Yar, tis I, Lord Tinfoil. Here from the brig of the SS Toolshed, where today I'll be talking about Gremlins 2 for the Game Boy. Ay, 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 it's horrid. Bland design, boring levels, too many spikes, and not enough Gremlins enemies. I say throw it overboard. Because it's putrid garbage. And I am a Gremlin super fan. I even played the original for the NES. But no, this. Oh, I shudder. You know, I just. I. I four flushes in every single category. Controls are bad. <laughs> uh, for some reason, they, they forgot. Oh, my tinfoil is acting up again. It protects your brain from the evil rays of these games and movies that I review. That's why I wear so much tinfoil. So that it protects me brain! Ugh. But yeah. Uh, controls, four flushes. Sound effects, four flushes. Graphics, four flushes. Ridiculously bad. Before I talk anymore, though, I'm going to turn the light on real quick and see if there's any gremlins in here. Because, I mean, it is the break of a ship. Nope, no gremlins here, just a troll, comrade. Just one troll, me. <sighs> that never gets old. Uh, the, uh, da, 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 the special and practical effects, uh, it's, a, it's a Game Boy game, it doesn't really have any. One of the major, major issues with it, however, the, the huge mistake that they made with it, that's just absolutely dumb as heck for them to decide to try to do was... They tried to, 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 to give him some weaponry from the movies, I guess, and, and there's just there's not enough power-ups. And he only has one weapon, it's a dead blasted box cutter. And apparently they forgot. <clears throat> so apparently they forgot about all the other weaponry. And, I mean, he's got plenty of weaponry from the NES game and from the second movie. He's got the uh, iconic flaming pencil arrow, and he's got the, the match from the original game, and he's got the tomato from the original game. But he doesn't have any of that stuff in this game. He just has one flimsy box cutter, a crappy toolbox. I mean, my show has more budget than his power-up budget for the whole game. <clears throat> one episode of my show uses... Uses a bigger power-up budget than his whole game. That's how crappy his game is. Just terribly, abysmally bad, boring, bland, pointless. Not enough gremlin enemies. Too many non-gremlin enemies. Way too many spikes. And not anywhere near enough payoff reward. This is a complete abject failure of a game for the Game Boy. Don't waste a cent on it. It's over with. 